Beldum. Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, yeah, sorry, but only because it's tough. Only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that the astronauts must open the door first, do you not? <laughs> well, assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Ugh. G No doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder, is it safe? Oh my, that must be tech again. Happy Boxing Day, fellow gamers. Uh, in the last... Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I mean to say. In the last episode... We defeated Macho Grubba in a big finale to Chapter 3. It was a very long episode, I'm not going to lie. It definitely went over the time limit. But yeah, and we are here doing the Peach interlude in this episode. Probably going to fit in the Bowser episode into it too. Both be coming out on Boxing Day. Hello, Princess. Hello, Princess Peach. I don't know why I said that so happy. He's a robot or a computer. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is... What is... Uh, what is it this time? I apologize. I would like to go to where Sir Gratis is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is, why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I don't know what Sir Gratis is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true. But you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain the soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Gratis looking in, looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. All right, fine, I guess. Well, so... Well, so what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Oh. Is that the elevator he wanted me to go in? Well, I don't know. It's the only elevator we've seen. He said one floor up, not two floors up. Oh my god. Please wait just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach. It's the room with the green lamp very near where the where you disembarked the elevator. I believe it's to the right? Yep. Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in the locker. Hmm. Oh, this is the uniform. Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Uh, oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and kind of smells a bit. Whew. Who knows how I... Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. And... Yes, Peach somehow managed to shrink in size and fit into this. And now we are now controlling this x knot. I just want to go to the right here and enter Grotus's room. Excuse me, uh, Sir Grotus? 
Yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, Hex Not. Perhaps you have, perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, oh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure that is all I require of you. We Exonauts need the treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. N no nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever, p please excuse me. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm kind of bored of the text. Okay, you're going to come back to the same one? Off with this thing. Off with her head. No, that's pretty bad. Yay, we're Peach again. Whew, good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I don't, yeah, I think we would have noticed Peach cause since you've been wearing it since, like, good old days of Donkey Kong. Then again, your name wasn't Peach. Your name was Daisy, but still. Well, no. I don't remember. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering this question is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Uh, you start to get a little bit more into the story of the game. You see what they're up to. Apparently, the power of the Crystal Stars conquer the world. I haven't seen that in a game before. Nah, yeah, but they, they do leave a little bit of like opening. Like there's a treasure. Like there's something down there, like a weapon or something. But we don't know what's down there yet. The thing's humongous! Everybody, hide! Now! Save yourselves! Stupid cheating, Mario. You would have thought that fool would be in the glitz pit. Did you say something, your rudeness? Oh, uh, no. Nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them would show you about the crystal star. One of them show about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the info we need. Uh, it's funny how some of them are. Okay, it's glitching around. Don't worry about it. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evil doers. You want our crystal star. Ha! See, I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude. Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crone. I'm the great puny elder. Yee, my heart. Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. It's hag versus hag. Awesome. Ahem. Uh, yes, Lord Bowser, you look as if you are just dying to say something. 
Ah, nope, nothing. Not a lot of battles are in this game. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag Thing, where's the Crystal Star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, your the uh, your answer, not your age. Your will determine your fate. Hmm, Hag Thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The Crystal Star is gone. Huh? What? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to the mustachio named Mardio. He said he was collecting the legendary treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio, and it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But your sen senility... Senility? Senility? Is beside the point. The princess and treasure the princess and treasures must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does he greed ne does his greed never end? That jackal, both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all, I swear it. And that was it actually. Uh so before I go ending the episode, since this is coming out on Boxing Day, please Leave a comment, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and all that, but leave a comment below saying what you got for Christmas and how well did your Christmas go over. I would love to read what you guys are talking about, and yeah, because I'm recording this before Christmas, so I won't tell you what I got until tomorrow's episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we'll pay more of the thousand new door. We will be starting the post-chapter again with Mario, working towards getting to the beginning of Chapter 4. See you guys next time.